We've settled in, we've cooked out, we've seen family, and like most of you, we're just waiting to see what the future holds. Here's a little update for you guys. We're just a normal family pursuing God on the mission field, one adventure at a time. been here for a few months on a reassignment, which basically means that our job now is to reach out to other Southern Baptist churches here in the area to try and encourage them to pray for pastors as everyone's trying to minister during COVID and it is a difficult thing. But I tell you what, it has been very encouraging to hear how God has been so faithful to the churches and to those who are serving during this time. I have a friend who ministers in Kentucky, and he is telling me about 12 baptisms that they're preparing for, and all of these salvations have happened during the COVID season. It's pretty much impossible to plan right now, which I'm sure you know. We're pretty much just taking it a day at a time. At this point, it doesn't look like we're gonna end up back in Uganda until possibly next year. The borders are still closed, and there's so many different ramifications for people trying to get back into the country. So we're just praying and holding out and waiting on God. So what have we been up to? Well, we've been planning our 2020 speaking extravaganza. So maybe we'll see you guys while we're out and about. And that has been taking up a lot of our time. Also, we were asked to be the missionaries for a virtual kids camp. And on top of that, we've been doing a lot of video conferencing with different churches and pastors. And it's been such an encouraging time. Guys, we so appreciate your prayers especially right now because many missionaries that are here stateside can't get back to their countries and even friends of ours are being forced out of their countries because of visa issues and borders being closed. So please keep praying because there is a layer of complexity to this that is really intense. But we are so thankful for our leadership. They have led us very, very well through all of this. So please be in prayer for them as they make wise decisions and how to continue to proceed forward. And I would just like to remind you, just as Paul does in 2 Thessalonians 3.13, don't grow weary in doing good. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you on the next adventure. Like, Louis. No. Again. That's dumb sounding. Okay, let's try again. No, that's not right. I need to read.